Hello everyone, um, today we are doing a bit of sounder testing to see the outputs of its, uh, various conventional sounders. Um, I've picked six different sounders to see how well they perform. Now, bearing in mind that a loud sounder isn't necessarily a good sounder, there is sounders here that I would consider not very good, and then there's other ones that I would consider really good. Um, it's purely just to see how well the uh, actual sounder element performs, uh, you know, how loud it can get and stuff. Uh, so we'll, we'll test these sounders and see how well they do. Uh, now I'm going to use an app on my old phone, so obviously the readings are not going to be particularly accurate, but they should give a uh, sort of a very basic representation of how loud these sounders are. Um, so yeah, sit back, relax, and I will ensue with the testing. Thanks. So as you can see, the classic 1990s gent firebell has just smashed the other sounders out of the park in terms of output. Now, uh, I would say that the C3 is very close, like you saw. It, the C3 was averaging about 97. It's really not too far off. Um, and the C3 does scare you a lot more. That bell is more pleasant than... The C3, I would prefer to be in a room with that bell going off than the C3 because it's it's much less ear piercing. It's more it's more vibrative than ear piercing. Ear piercing. It's it's like the the C3 is is awful on your ears. It, it's like it destroys them. It's borderline painful, but with the bell, it's uncomfortably loud. But it's not. I don't know. It's different with a bell. Uh, but yeah, so I hope that concludes this video for you. I hope it was quite interesting. It certainly was for me. I was not expecting the bell to win. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.